Good morning. Didn't say Tim Apple this time. Hello and welcome back to Apple Park for our first event of 2021. And yeah, Apple's 420 event is over and they announced a couple of stuff and I just want to talk about them. First, they announced their new Apple Card feature, which is Apple Card Family. You can add someone in your family to your Apple Card and that Apple Card also affects their credit score. Next, they announced new podcast app in case people weren't talking to you enough during daytime and you want to listen to other people talk to you constantly. You can download the new podcast app and follow, share and listen to the podcasters you love. Next up, they announced iPhone 12 and 12 mini in purple color for probably Gerald and Dunn. I'm probably going to get one because I'm about to release my iPhone 12 six months later review and I think that's gonna be a good addition for the video. You can pre-order your purple iPhone this Friday and it comes out in April 30th. And finally AirTags is announced, we've been waiting for this for a while and it seems like a really impressive little gadget that can be really useful and it seems like they thought about a lot of the stuff before they put it out. It is very much like tile but it is more or less this big. I made this high quality model. This is 3D printed. I mean 3D if you look carefully. And so the beauty of this thing is it can play sound, it has accelerometer and even if you if you lose it in the house you, you can play a sound and if you have iPhone 11 and newer which is which has the U1 chip in it you can see the direction where it's at but if you leave it somewhere else then the air tag has this encrypted bluetooth feature that sends out a signal to the devices like iphone ipad uh, mac around it so whenever one of them establishes a connection the location of your air tag will be sent to you also you can put it in lock mode the, the person who found your stuff can receive a message and then you, you can contact with them and get your stuff back. It is water resistant up to 1.5 meter and 30 minutes. It has one year battery life and when it runs out of battery, you send it to Apple and then they uh, replace it for $14.99. <laughs> I'm just joking. It takes CR2032, the little battery, you can swap them yourself. They also thought about the privacy. So if someone tries to sneak in, one of their air tags to you and if this isn't your air tag you get a notification on your device one of these will cost $29 and four of them will cost $99 you can pre-order them Friday and they come out on April 30th now the next thing they announced is the brand new Apple TV 4k with a brand new remote controller that also kind of looks like the second generation Apple TV's remote controller mixed with iPod. So now with the new controller, you can do this gesture to go forward or backward, which is great because the old, I mean, the, the one before this, that Apple TV 4K's remote control was good, but it wasn't really good. So I think this is going to be better. It's going to be easier to control. You can get the remote control by itself. It's only $59. Also, if you want to get the older Apple TV, Apple TV HD, that also comes with the new Apple TV Siri remote. Now, what's new in the new Apple TV? First of all, it supports frame rates up to 60 frames per second. It has a 12 bionic chip in it, the chip from iPhone 11. And also you can hold your phone towards the screen and it calibrates the screen, the color and stuff for you. There are two versions, 32 gigabyte, 179, 64 gigabyte, 199. You can pre-order them on April 30th and they come out in the middle of May. Now, one of the big announcements is the brand new iMac. It's brand new, freshly designed, looks fantastic. A lot of colors, seven different colors, and it has M1 Apple Silicon in it. This is really exciting. I was hoping for the next generation Apple Silicon in it. It doesn't, it only has 
the M1 that we know and love. This device starts from 1299 and goes up to 1699. The cheaper version has eight core CPU, but seven core GPU. And the expensive ones have eight core uh, CPU and eight core GPU. The seven core GPU version has only two Thunderbolt slash USB 3 ports and no gigabit ethernet. It comes only in blue, green, pink, and silver. 8-core GPU version has four ports. Two of them are Thunderbolt 3 slash USB-C and the other two are only USB-C. It has Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet connection on the power brick. The power brick is separate from the machine itself because the machine is super thin and super good looking. But um, since it's on the charger, I don't know why it is not included in the seven core GPU, but you know, we're talking about Apple here. Something needs to be Apple. The eight core version comes in seven colors, blue, green, pink, silver, yellow, orange, purple. You can get storage up to two terabytes and 16 gigabytes of RAM. It also has a 1080p webcam and brand new microphones and very good speakers, according to Apple. But the iMac Pro I had before uh, my Mac Pro had fantastic speakers on them. So I'm guessing if these are better than the iMac Pro I had, then I think they're gonna be really nice. Also, the keyboard that comes with the iMac has now Touch ID on it, and the cables that come out of the box are the same colors as the iMac you ordered. So if you ordered a blue iMac, the cables that come with it has the blue braided cable. I think this device looks fantastic and I cannot wait to test it out. I can't wait to see what it does. The 4.5K Retina display is 4480 by 2520. You can all order them April 30th and they are going to be released in the second half of May. And after that, Tim Cook, disguised as young Tim Cook, took M1 chip and went back to a lab and put it into iPad, which was probably the best part in this event. And yes, now we have an iPad Pro with M1 in it, Apple Silicon M1 in it. And I'm really excited to see how it performs. I'm really excited to see if it's, you know, slowed down a little bit or is it gonna be as fast as it is on the M1 Max. It comes in two sizes, 11 inch and 12.9 inch. And now the connection is not USB 3, it is Thunderbolt. And if you get the cellular version, then it supports 5G, ultra wide band and sub six. The rear cameras are same as the previous generation iPad Pro, but the front facing camera, the true depth camera is upgraded from seven megapixels to 12 megapixels and it supports this feature called center stage, which is something we used to have on our Logitech webcams, where it zooms into the person that is in the frame. And if two people comes into the frame, it widens up. Actually, our front facing cameras on iPhones already have this, but now we have it on the iPad. But still, the front facing camera can only shoot up to 1080p. But here's where things get interesting. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro now has mini LED, which takes its brightness from 600 nits to 1000 nits on maximum brightness and 1600 nits when you're watching HDR stuff. This is very exciting. The resolution is the same. The pixel density is the same. I cannot wait to see this side by side and show it to you side by side. And uh, I cannot wait to experience this because I think we're gonna have deeper blacks compared to regular iPad because it can dim partially. It has a lot more LEDs in it that can dim and get brighter. So we'll see, we'll see very soon. As usual, you can order this on April 30th and it's gonna be released second half of May. 11 inch iPad Pro starts from 799 and goes up to 2099. 
and the 12.9 inch starts from 1099 and goes up to 2399 when everything is included and it's maxed out it's two terabytes and instead of eight gigabytes of ram i think they have 16 gigabytes of ram also they announced a new color for the magic keyboard and that is white okay sounds pretty good the event was very good the products are nice and expected there's nothing too crazy in my opinion it, it was good but as usual what i think doesn't matter what matters is what you think what did you think about apple's 420 event which one is your favorite product are you getting any of these let me know in the comment section below and until i see you the next time take really good care of yourselves and oh wait i'm about to release my iphone review six months later seven month later video and i'm really excited about that and i'm having some troubles with youtube getting my uh video seen so um be on the lookout be on the lookout let's um break this curse that youtube suddenly put on me because i took a little break all right Subs if you loved it, loved if you subbed it. I'll see you next time. Thank you, Kyrus. Oh, check out it.